Hello, I'm Diana Moran, but you probably remember me better as the Green Goddess. Well, back in the 1980s, I was proud to introduce fitness to the UK with the launch of BBC's Breakfast Time. Well, all those ooh, years later, 40 years later, here I am still. I'm 81 this year and I've been asked by many people who in later life have found that exercise is difficult. Indeed, some are chair bound or have difficulty in walking at all and they ask, what can they do? <laughs> well, this DVD is for you. My keep fit and carry on exercise plan consists of simple exercises especially designed for people who are largely neglected by the fitness industry. Those of us later on in our lives. Those who haven't exercised for a while and those who just can't do the type of exercise that they used to. Even if you've never exercised before, this DVD can work for you. My favourite saying as I get older is, age is mind over matter, and if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Well, as I age, I'm determined to keep moving, to retain my physical independence, and to have fun for as long as I possibly can. Keep fit and carry on involves a range of exercises, especially designed for the less active to perform in the comfort of their living room and even while sitting down in a chair. <laughs> the DVD is to give you the confidence to start moving again. Little and often is all you need to aim for. The exercises are designed to ease you back into fitness. And I guarantee you'll feel better even doing just one. These exercises are not a competition, so start slowly and build up gradually. If the movement hurts, stop. Do what you can today and try again tomorrow. Make sure you're warm enough. It's best to wear layered, loose clothing, which you can discard if you get too hot. Don't exercise until at least an hour after your meals and keep drinking water to avoid becoming dehydrated. I cannot accept responsibility for accident or injury as a result of the Keep Fit and Carry On exercise programme. I've designed my programme of exercises to help you stay active so that you can enjoy life to the full. It's so important as the years roll by. But there are no quick fixes. For a healthy lifestyle, there are two simple rules. Be more active and eat sensibly. Moderate exercise can help enhance and maintain your quality of life. Exercise and being active improves what I call the five S's. The first is stamina, gives you the energy to keep going. Then there's strength, builds strong muscles to be able to tackle any necessary tasks. Then suppleness, encourages flexibility, letting you bend and stretch. And then skill. Being active encourages coordination of the body and the mind. And finally, there's shape. <laughs> Exercising expends energy, that means burns calories, helping us control our weight. So let's begin by warming up and easing out the muscles of the back, the arms, the legs, the neck and the chest. We'll work from top to toe, and then at the end of the exercise programs, we'll do some deep breathing and learn how to relax. Warming up is essential to prepare and enable us to stretch out our bodies at the beginning of any exercise program. 
and it's also a good idea to warm up and stretch if you're gardening or playing sport. So before we start our exercises, just a word of caution. As the years go by, some people will experience physical problems as the result of illness or an accident. Others may have heart problems, maybe rheumatism, arthritis, or joint problems, or mobility problems, often the result of fractures following a fall. It's important to recognise that we older folk are all different, with different and varying physical abilities. So please, listen to your body, and if you experience pain or discomfort, stop. That exercise may not be advisable for you to do. Check the location before performing any exercises in your home. Clear a space, and check that the surfaces are not wet or slippery and ensure that any support or equipment that you're going to use is strong enough to take your weight. Not all exercises will be suitable for everyone, and this or any other exercise programme may result in injury. So before starting any exercise programme, you should consult with your doctor to reduce the risk of injury especially if you suffer from heart disease, have high blood pressure, joint problems, back problems, are overweight, have an illness, injury or are convalescing. The instructions and advice presented are in no way intended as a substitute for medical counselling. The creators, producers and distributors of this programme do not accept responsibility for accident or injury as a result of this exercise programme and advice therein. As with any exercise programme, you should start slowly and build up gradually. If a movement hurts, stop. Do what you can today and try again tomorrow. But if the pain persists, check with your doctor.